can you think back to that time where you were just, you were mortified, red-faced, embarrassed at something that had just happened? Remember how that felt? You, you just wish you could just, you could shrink back and, and, and go into a hole and never return. Everybody has a skeleton in the closet. Everybody has secrets that you would just as soon uh, not let anybody know. You know, it, just embarrassing moments, they, they, they happen. You know, I, I have this one, that, what, you, none, none of your business, but, right? Have you ever maybe let something be known and the individual you trusted blabbed? Solomon had something to say about that. Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. There are some embarrassing moments. There are some things that just don't need to be revealed. There are some skeletons that can be kept inside the closet. But those who would slander, those who would reveal secrets, uh, well, their skeletons are going to be revealed. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his ways crooked will be found out. At the end of the day, uh, well, at the judgment day, everything that we've ever done that is crooked, anything that we've ever said that is crooked will be exposed. We're told this, it says, I tell you on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. So there are some things that can't remain within the closet. There are some things that we want to be forgotten. We want to be forgiven. Because we realize that to God, there are no skeletons in the closet. To God, everything is known. And no creature is hidden from his sight. But all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. Where is the relief? Where will we find the forgiveness? For whoever has entered God's rest has also rested from his works as God did from his. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest so that no one may fall by the same sort of disobedience for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. The word of God will reveal those skeletons in our closet in the form of convicting tears, in the form of cutting us to the heart, revealing our innermost struggles. We can give those things to God so that on the day of judgment, we will be able to be justified. On the day of judgment, we will be forgiven when we follow what we find in God's word. If you would like to discuss this further, please comment. Please reach out so that we can discuss this further. But in the meantime, to your skeleton, be kind.